In this video, we'll be looking into the brute force approaches. Uh, we'll be discussing uh, traveling sales uh, salesman problem along with that the knapsack problem. So, understanding the definition of exhaustive search. So, it is a brute force search technique which involves solving combinational problems. So, it involves systematically generating and evaluating all possible candidate solutions within a problem's domain to find optimal or desired one. So, in this, uh, for a given problem, you'll be generating all possible solutions. That is what brute force says, right? From all possible solutions, you would be selecting one which is optimal. Optimal solution refers that it is the best solution which obeys the given constraints, which, which uh, satisfies the problems, uh, problem domain and uh, yeah, all the conditions are satisfied here. So first we have traveling salesman problem here. So traveling salesman problem uh, will come across this in further modules also. Here we'll be using brute force approach. So traveling salesman problem is a class optimization problem that seeks to find shortest possible tour that visits all cities exactly once and return to the start point. So it is commonly represented as weighted graph. This is weighted graph, right? With vertices being the cities and the edges being the distances between the uh, consecutive cities. So it is a NP hard problem. That is uh, no efficient algorithm is existing for solving it optim optim optimally in polynomial, uh, polynomial time for all the instances. So we'll look into a problem now in order to understand this properly. Let's consider this weighted graph here. So let's take home or the start point to be A. Okay, A is the start point now. So from A, the person starts visiting, the, the salesman starts visiting all the other cities. He visits all the other cities, but ultimately he has to reach back to his home. So that is, that is one condition. Next, the path which he is covering should be optimal one. So there should be, the distance should be less. Okay, so we'll look into it. So he'll start from A, right? He'll start from A. From A, he can go to B or C or D. So from A, he can go to B or C or D. Now from B, he can go to D or C, right? From B, he can go to C or D. From C, he can go to D or B. B or D. And from D, he can go to either C or B. C or D. Now from C, let's see. Uh, a, from A he has gone to B, from B he has come to C. Now from C he can go to D, right? Uh, a, B, D. A, B, D. Now only uh, the left out is C. A, C, B. So we have D being left out here. Now A, C, D. A, C, D. So B is remaining, right? So I'll write B here. Now A, D, C. A, D and C. So only B is remaining here. So I'll write a B here again. Next, A, D, B, A, D and B. Now C is remaining, right? So I'll write C here. So uh, the, the salesman has covered all the four cities. Now he has to return home back. So from D, he can go to home back A on the side A, B, D, C. A, B, D, C. Again A, home. Here also again he can go home. A, A, A. So this was about the uh, the path which can be uh, which he can follow. Now we'll start filling the values here, the distance here. So from A to B it is two, and from B to C it is eight, and from C to D it is one, from D to A it is seven. A to C, uh, okay. A to B no B to D B to D is three, D to C D to C is one, C to A C to A is five. Now A to C A to C is five. Uh, C to B, C to B is 8, C to D, C to D is 1, B to D, B to D is 3, D to B, D to B is again 3, D to A, D to A is 2 and here B to A, B to A, uh, D to A is 7 here sorry and B to A is 2 here. Similarly for from A to D, I have 7 here, then D to C, 1, D to B, 3, C to B, that is 8 and B to C, again 8, B to A, B to A is 2 and C to A. C to A is 5. So now that I have written the distances here, let me calculate the total cost here. So once I calculate the total cost, I uh, will be able to find the optimal solution here. So 
सो फॉर दिस आई हैव एट प्लस टू टेन लेवन लेवन प्लस सेवन एटीन सो आई राइट फॉर द अदर्स एज वेल सो इफ यू कैन सो इफ यू कैन सी द टोटल कॉस्ट फॉर दिस पाथ इज एटीन लेवन ट्वेंटी थ्री लेवन एटीन एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सो आउट ऑफ दीज दीज आर ऑल द पॉसिबल सोल्यूशन और ऑल द पॉसिबल पाथ विच द सेल्स मैन कैन कवर बट देन आर मोटो इज टू फाइंड आउट द लीस्ट कॉस्ट राइट लीस्ट डिस्टेंस वाला पाथ सो फॉर दैट वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट दिस पाथ एंड दिस पाथ हैव द लीस्ट डिस्टेंस सो लेट मी राइट दोज पाथ हियर सो इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ए देन बी देन डी then c and then a so this is one of the path and the other path is this one that is a c d b and a so this was about traveling salesman problem now let's look into a knapsack problem so knapsack involves selecting a subset of items with maximum value while ensuring the total weight does not exceed given capacity so knapsack has various applications that is resource allocation financial portfolio optimization and so on knapsack can be further formulated as fractional knapsack or zero one knapsack we'll be discussing this in upcoming modules so before moving on to problem let let me give you a brief introduction of knapsack so by the definition only you can understand so there will be few items okay let me say 1 i1 i2 i3 so these items will have certain weights right each item will have some weight right so this will have this has 10 this has 20 and this is 30 weight and with this weight comes the profit part or cost we can write anything so for this i1 item the cost is 5 rupees for i2 item the cost is 20 rupees and for i3 item the cost is 30 rupees so this i'm just taking an example we'll be solving this problem further so in order to explain uh, i am taking this example knapsack means there will be a container or a sack with capacity so in order to store this items in this uh, sack then there, there's a capacity so the capacity here is 30 okay weight up to 30 can be stored in this uh, sack okay so that that's what the problem says now um, if i store i1 here first if i store i1 the weight would be I I one weight is ten, right? So the ca capacity would now be twenty. Again, if I store I two now, the weight is twenty. Twenty was the remaining weight, right? So again, if I store twenty, it becomes twenty will go, right? I one weight is ten plus I two weight is twenty. Twenty plus ten is thirty. Capacity weight was thirty. So if I store I one and I two in the sack, the capacity would be filled. Okay, that is one point. Second point is what is the cost? Twenty plus five. Twenty-five. What is the profit? Twenty plus five. Twenty-five is the profit. Now, instead of taking I one, I two, if I write I three, let's check what happens. So let me take the same sack with capacity thirty. I will take I three only. Directly, I'll take I three. I three weight is thirty. So capacity was thirty. I three weight is thirty. So I am remaining with zero. So if I store I three only, I three, the the knapsack would the sack would be filled. But then let's look into the profit. Here it has thirty. Profit is thirty rupees. right so whichever whichever item has the highest profit should be selected so these are all the uh, possible solutions but then i3 having the profit 30 is the feasible solution or optimal solution so it is having maximum profit so that is what knapsack problem is about so further we'll be de dealing with different variations in knapsack problem only but this being the initial stage uh, that is the brute force approach it is pretty simple and straight forward so here we have weight cap the sack capacity as 40 they have told and uh, uh, there are three weights there are three items being taken let me draw the table here items i1 i2 and i3 right then we have the weights here and then we have the profit here so weights i have 20 25 and 10 here profits i have 30 40 and 35 so i need to capacity is 40 as we know i need to come up with all solutions so in order to come up with all possible solutions i will take subset of all combinations here and then from this i'll be selecting the optimal one
so let me write the items here so i can take i1 i2 i3 separate separately or i can club i1 and i2 i can club i1 and i3 right or i can club i2 and i3 now next i have i1 i2 i3 these are the possible combinations which i can write right next here let me write their consecutive weights these are the items here i'll write the weights so i1 weight is 20 i2 weight is 25 i3 weight is 10 i1 i2 20 plus 25 45 i1 i3 20 plus 10 30 i2 i3 25 plus 10 35 and i1 i2 i3 so 20 plus 10 30 30 plus 20 30 plus 25 55 So here I have written the weight, but then let me write the capacity. The capacity known here is forty, right? The sack can hold only forty uh, kgs of weight. Okay, so here it is twenty. That means it can store this. This is also possible. This is also possible. But then this is forty-five. So you cannot consider this. Here it is thirty possible, thirty-five possible, but fifty-five is not possible. So I am uh, done with segregating the subsets. Which can. So I have I have now segregated. whichever items could be the subset of items which could be considered and which cannot be considered now i'll write the profit part for i1 the profit is 30 for i2 the profit is 40 for i3 the profit is 35 this need not write i need not write this i1 i3 i1 and i3 30 plus 35 i will get 65 and i2 i3 i2 is 40 plus um, 35 that is 75 i1 uh, i2 i3 cannot be considered so these are the profits which i have written but then in order to select the optimal solution i need to select the maximum profit so whichever subset gives the maximum profit that would be the optimal solution optimal one so here if we consider 75 maximum profit for i2 i3 right so i can write i2 i3 is the combination which has max profit of 75 so this was about knapsack problem so here in this video we have covered two brute force approaches using the exhaustive search one is tsp and the other one is knapsack problem if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you